It's finally spooky season, and I'm going to share with you 13 of my favorite short stories that are gonna get you in the spooky mood. And these are all readily available online. Number 13 is The Emissary by Ray Bradbury. This short story is featured in the October Country Collection, also inspired several of Stephen King's greatest, you know, stories. Number 12, Catskin by Kelly Link. Cats, witches, perfect for Halloween. Number 11, Strange Candy by Robert McCammon. It's the first one on my list actually set on Halloween. 10, Raphael by Stephen Graham Jones. I don't wanna to give too much away, but there's one scene in this short story that just made my back tense up. So worth your time. Number nine, I Make People Do Bad Things by Chessia Burke. I wanted to include a couple authors you might not have heard of, and uh, Chessia Burke is someone you should be reading. Number eight is a quiet and different take on the monster story. The Lake by Tanana Reeve Du. Number seven is The Landlady by Roald Dahl. Roald Dahl did not just write for children. He also was an incredible horror writer. You'll never look at Roald Dahl or Bed and Breakfasts the same way again. Number six, The Graveless Doll of Eric Muddis by Karen Russell. The story centers around a group of uh, boys who come across a scarecrow that looks eerily like a boy they've been bullying and who disappear. This is so spooky. What is a list without Neil Gaiman? So number five is October in the Chair. You can actually listen to Neil Gaiman narrate this, which I highly recommend that you do. Number four is With Graveyard Weeds and Wolfsbane Seeds by Seanan McGuire. Number three is Talking in the Dark by Dennis Etchison. Dennis Etchison is a author I wish more people knew about. He wrote several novelizations of like famous horror movies such as Halloween 2, Halloween 3, and The Fog. He also wrote a pass on Halloween 4 which never got made. But this is one of my favorite short stories by him and it's perfect for the Halloween season. Number two is The Husband Stitch by Carmen Maria Machado. This story is just something else. It's probably one that most people wouldn't expect to be on this list, but it's a retelling of the classic The Green Ribbon story. And oh my God, just read it. And my number one favorite short story to read around Halloween is one that's a bit harder to find, Miss Mac by Michael McDowell. Michael McDowell is a writer that I wish more people knew about. He was also a screenwriter. He wrote the screenplay to Beetlejuice. And Miss Mac takes place on Halloween. It follows two teachers who might be having a relationship and the jealous principal. It was collected in Alan Ryan's Halloween Horrors and it's kind of hard to track down. But for all of October, I will be doing lives where I will be reading from some of my favorite short stories. So follow along if you want to hear them.